Hi, my name is Christian Fletcher and welcome to my gallery. I just want to talk about this image that I have currently in uh, my exhibition, uh, which is part of the Margaret Open Studios event that's happening. So this is one of my favourite pieces. It was shot down on the uh, bailing up to Nanup Road and it was one of those scenes that uh, you, you just have to, you have to photograph. So I always go out chasing the fog, so uh, any time it's cold and it's been raining, I know that, and, and it's going to be fine the next day, I, I, I know that down that way it's going to have a, a really nice fog. So I went down there chasing the fog and I saw this scene and um, the, the hero of the shot is, is pretty much the tree. I, some people would say it's a kangaroo, but the tree was what uh, I noticed first. And uh, so I did a lot of work trying to make the tree the, the highlight. So uh, lots of uh, work on the uh, adding light to the bark to create a 3D look. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of my uh, finer moments. I'm inspired by the Heidelberg artists uh, in Melbourne that were around in the turn of the century. And uh, I wanted to create something that was in that sort of style, sort of more painterly. And yeah, I like it, so hopefully you'll like it as well. So, hi, I'm Sarah Malone and welcome to my studio. I am based here in Bass currently, but will be shifting up towards Dunsborough. And should you wish to get in contact with me post Open Studios, feel free to drop me an email or to jump on my website at www.sarahmaloneartist.com. So this piece here is my most recent from the Awashed series and um, through this series I've been exploring the turbulence of the ocean and um, the waves that are crashing and creating that sense of movement and you, can, you might be able to see there that there's a bit of texture in there that sort of emulates the ocean bubbling and the um, sort of real rush and dance of the waves as they crash. Hello, my name's Susan Jennings Blythe. I'm part of Margaret River Open Studios this year and you can find me at 159 Kookaburra Way. I'm open each day until Sunday. Um, this year I've done a range of art with using my fingers and feathers, our very early tools. And this is one of my favourites, which is a soft shoreline of a salt lake. So it's an aerial view and the entire work's just been done with fingers and feather tips and quill. And you can see lots of fingerprints on my whole range of art. Hello, I'm Barbara Weeks. I'm, I'm uh, demonstrating felt making in the courthouse at Open Studios and it's just such a lovely space and to be playing with wool and silk is my pleasure. It's just such a lovely product. The, new machine. the Carter no, it's not new. Um, what it does is it blends all the leftovers so I don't waste anything. Right. So I, I can like put it on there yeah. and bat it down with my wallpaper brush. I've never ever done any wallpaper. And then when I want to take it off, there's a little slot through here and I can oik it off. And then what I've done is... Um, created a whole new colour palette that's all ready to go. Hi, my name's Jackie Pinnock. I do naive art and mosaics. So I hope to see you this weekend at the Margaret River Open Studios at the old courthouse complex. Um, heaps of artists here, seven artists in one go. So come on down and keep us company. All right. This is my naive art of Cottesloe. So we're going from Cottesloe all the way back through to the cityscape. Um, it's a inspiration is just to bring joy and happiness to people's lives. So it's really a happy, uplifting art piece. Um, lots of fine detail. It's probably not visible on there, but it's lots of fine detail and lots of stories within this one painting. So I hope you come down and see it in person. Very colourful. Hi, my name's Georgia Zorich and I'm here in the Bond store at the Old Courthouse Complex. I'm a ceramic artist exhibiting during the Margaret River Open Studios. Um, this is one of my pieces. It's a ceramic boat and dry vase. 
um, two different sides and it's all hand built ceramics. Yeah, no, my name's Reef Myers. Um, this is my favourite painting at the moment. This is called Spidey coming in from a surf. So most surfers can relate to this one. Like Spidey's just had such an amazing time out in the water. His girlfriend's been waiting on the beach for him and she's made this amazing meal ready for him, but she's planted a sea urchin just down here, just to give him a bit of punishment because um, he's had too much fun and she needs to get him back somehow. But I just love the, the balance of all the colours and the space and it's just something fun to laugh at. It, um, and yeah, it's, I don't know, you can brighten up the house and yeah, yeah it's one of my favourites at the moment. My lizard girlfriend. <laughs> so I don't have any WA themed ones left so I thought I might, might as well do a new one. Um, it's just sort of a, could be a crazy cat lady's house but looking out at the dingo flower. Well, I don't plan my paintings when I start, um, but that's what it's sort of turning out like. Once I've had all my shapes, seem to be a few animals poking out. So I end up getting a couple cats, a dog, a lizard, a seagull over there, which I always paint. And then um, adding the dingo out the window just kind of sets the scene of where it is, but um, everything inside is a bit more random. Yeah. Nice. Now you're doing style, you Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's all just a bit of fun. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Laura. Hi there. I'm Laura. I'm part of the Margaret River Region Open Studios, and I'm currently exhibiting my work at Jackson's in Basselton. So tell us about some of these paintings. <laughs> well, these ones are the paintings I currently work on, so it's a lot of layering and a lot of lines very relaxing and no blending involved so it's quite easy to paint it's not easy oh it's not easy to paint it's a lot of it's really hard work to paint though <laughs> it's a lot of lines and we've got a nice landscape um, down the bottom yeah so that's totally opposite to this because that's purely blended very subtle color changes very relaxing is it any particular Place, no, that was purely out of my head. I just really like the colours of the red, almost pink rocks. So this is water-soluble graphite and I've purely bought it to play around with it a bit, the colour sticks, so the graphite sticks. So you draw them on just very loosely and then play with water to make them run a bit. Very different. Thank you, Laura. My pleasure. <laughs>